You're not fighting. Do you watch boxing? Do you watch other boxers? And are, yeah. are there any specific yes. fighters that you like? Yeah, some, 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 some fights I do watch if, if, if I can. Uh, of course, I love boxing. I love watching boxing. I may watch somebody win, but I don't even know. Uh, just because you know, I'm a boxing man in general. Who, who's your top three right now? Oh, um, my top three. It's how you feel. Um, let me see. I like, I think Boots is good. I like Crawford. Um, Earl, they all three the same weight class, so that's crazy. I like the Charlo brothers, both of them. Um, I like Raymond Ford. I like, um, of course, my boy Mari Jones. Uh, next up right there. Yeah, next up for short. Um, Shakur Stevens. Shakur Stevens, you don't like what do you think about him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I like Shakur. I think I, I think he's good. Yeah. Uh, I've been knowing Shakur since I was a kid, so I always knew that he was good. I knew that he would be at the top one day. So yeah, for sure. What did you think of this yes. fight, Jimmy? Um, I think it was a good fight. Uh, you know, the, the the opponent he fought wasn't you know he's not a credible opponent. You know, me personally, I'm not into those kind of fights. You know, I want I want to you know make the biggest fights happen. You know, I'm finding a, I'm finding a guy that was that, that's going into the Hall of Fame. Loma is going is, going, is, is a Hall of Famer, so that's the type of you know opponents that, that I'm looking for. The biggest names, the the, the legacy fights, and uh, yeah. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Blue Blood Sports TV back at y'all with another one. So. You see undefeated, undisputed, lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney. 29 wins, no loss and no draw. 15 big wins by way of knockout. He is 24 years of age, 5'9", with a 72-inch arm each. He laughs off the reporter who tries to trick him into saying that Olympic silver medalist, undefeated two-division world champion, former unified super featherweight world champion, now lightweight title contender, Shakur Stevenson, who is uh, a superstar, and he is, nine, is 20 wins, no loss, no draw, 10 wins by way of knockout, 25 years of age, 5 for 8 with a 68-inch arm reach. So uh, as you see, the reporter was asking uh, Devin Haney at his media workout for his highly anticipated upcoming May 20th showdown with two-time Olympic gold medalist, three-division world champion, former U unified lightweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer Vasil Hitek Lomachenko, who has 17 wins, two losses, no draw, uh, 11 wins by way of knockout. He is 35 years of age, 5 foot 6 with a 66 inch arm reach. So he tries to trick Devin Haney in the saying when asked, Who do you watch in the sport of boxing? Do you watch boxing when you're not fighting? And who are your top three favorite fighters? And he named Jerron Boots Ennis, Terrence Crawford, and Errol Spence. Then he said, it's crazy that they're in the same weight class. And before he could get to other fighters, he named his fighter Amari Jones and a few other fighters he was getting ready to name. And then the reporter says, you, your Shakur Stevenson is one of your favorite fighters. So he laughs him off. And, uh, you know, um, he, he goes in on, he just explains what he thinks about Shakur Stevenson. As you can see, they sparred many times and they're very familiar with one another. And Shakur Stevenson, two weekends ago, he beat... Uh, Yoshino and he dominated him dropping him twice and getting a, a six round stoppage victory and called out Devin Haney afterwards saying he dominates Devin Haney and that you know um, he would beat Devin Haney easy when they fight so Devin Haney addressed that addressed the, the fight Shakur Stevenson had with Yoshino and this is a big fight so Devin Haney he stated he's going to see how he feels after this fight with Lomachenko which I highly expect him to be victorious in. This is a fight he's been seeking out for quite some time. And so uh, I expect him to dominate this fight with Lomachenko, but if, if nothing else I expect him to win this fight. And then he stated that he's going to see how he feels, how his body feels. Everybody knows it's not a secret. It's not easy for him to make 135 pounds and if he feels good, then he's going to seek out the fight with uh, undefeated three-division world champion superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis or Javante Tank Davis' upcoming opponent in undefeated lightweight junior welterweight Mexican superstar title contender King Rai, Ryan Garcia. So he wants to win in that fight or Shakur Stevenson if he's able to comfortably make the weight moving forward. But if he can't, then he's going to go up to uh, 140. So, you know, um, with that said, you know, uh, with that said, you know, this is a huge fight. Shakur Stevenson is a great fighter, very, a very, very 
good tactician, the best defensive fighter in the sport of boxing, and people want to see this fight. So Devin Haney said he's willing to give the people the fight. He's willing to give the, the fight that people want to see, you know, um, just as long as he's able to comfortably make 135. It's no secret he's been saying this for quite some time that it's not easy to make 135. So obviously, you know, once he makes 135, if he could comfortably make it for Lomachenko and he's comfortable moving forward, then we could possibly see Devin Haney and, and Javante Tank Davis or Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson. But like you said, if Ryan Garcia wins, he might fight Ryan Garcia at 140. So Ryan Garcia, he stated, should he be victorious against Javante Tank Davis? The fight he wants to have next is indeed Devin the Dream Haney, but he don't know it's going to be at 135 or it's going to be at 140 because Ryan Garcia is two fights and two years removed from fighting at one at 135 himself. And Ryan Garcia is actually slightly bigger than Devin Haney. So Ryan Garcia, he stated that, you know, this is a catchway for him at Javante, with Javante Tank Davis at 136. But if he can uh, make the weight, you know, comfortably, as he stated, they're both growing. They're both the same age. They both came up together uh, and they're both around the same size. OK, so um, both guys are saying that, you know, it's not easy for them to make 135. And so with that said, Ryan Garcia, when I asked Ryan Garcia if he would fight Devin Haney next and he stated, absolutely, that's the fight he wants next. But he don't know if it's going to be at 135 or if it's going to be at um, 140. I, I gather that it would be at 140. Now, Devin Haney, obviously, he would like to defend his titles, his undisputed titles, and make it a bigger fight against Ryan Garcia at 135. But if he wins against Lomachenko and then Ryan Garcia beats Javante Tane Davis, well, it just would make sense that this fight, as big as it is, would be at 140 because nonetheless, even if they fought at 135, there's no doubt the winner of the fight is 1,000% going to move up in weight. So... You know, uh, Devin Haney has options, right? He has the option if Ryan Garcia wins, that shakes up the, the landscape because then Devin Haney could simply move up to 140. The fight with him and Ryan Garcia would be enormous and they could do it comfortably at 140. And if Javante Tank Davis wins, well, then Devin Haney will have to figure it out if he's going to stay at 135 and fight against um, Ryan Garcia, uh, excuse me, Shakur Stevenson, who would be his mandatory. Or is he going to fight against Javante Tank Davis? Now, because of the um, the way it's set up and Javante Tank Davis is the A side, Devin Haney after this fight with Lomachenko will be a network promotional free agent. It will be easy for him to fight Dev uh, Javante Tank Davis in a massive fight. And at the same time, he could re-up and sign with top rank and also fight against Shakur Stevenson. So Devin Haney, he has options moving forward. So let's see how it unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. So all I got for y'all. Peace. Hey, Bumgarner, you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Wow.